So I've been working with Adam uh, Fierce um, for uh, some time now, and um, you know he invited me to this event, and you know, I'm just looking forward to uh, really engaging with our, with the fans out there. Um, uh, obviously, I played um, uh, not too far away um, in uh, Ohio in Cleveland, and um, you know m probably more uh, memorable moment against uh, uh, nearby Chicago. Cubs um, in the 2016 World Series, but um, it's just nice to be able to connect with the fans and uh, you know have have an opportunity to get get away from home and uh, and just uh, have a good time out here. You mentioned that 2016 World Series. I was there for Game Seven in Cleveland. Uh, it, I was thinking it was Jr. That was with me. It was Jake, uh, one of our photographers. That was what was it like to be a part of that? Because you're talking about epic Game Sevens in the history of baseball. Obviously, you would have liked it. Be a little bit different, right. um, but you're talking about extra innings, rain out, game seven. Both teams had, had had quite a drought in terms of winning a World Series. What was it like to be a part of, of really one of the most epic baseball games of your your 40, 40, 41 of your lifetime? Yes, no, that was. I mean, that's something you really dream about, and you like, and 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 obviously most for most people that 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 never you know um, comes to pass. Uh, uh, materializes, but you know that whole season was a, really a special season. We earlier in that year, you know, we had a 14-game winning streak. You know, we had broke our team record of winning uh, 14 straight that year. Uh, of course, they shattered that one <laughs> a couple years later when they had like 20, 22. I think they broke their major league one record. Um, but um, it was a special year, you know, and I, and I and it was a special season for myself, um, you know, individually. Um, you know, having hit for the cycle as well that that season in in, in July, and um, but it was a great team atmosphere that we had, great team chemistry um, from the front office on down. It was very good. Um, you could you could talk with um, uh, executives in in the front office. You could you know talk go in open door policy with the with the manager if there was issues. Um, manager he, Tito um, he was always. Um, for forthright and 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 you know what your role was. You knew as a player, you know what your role was, um, and you know I think that was huge. And so, um, you know, going into the World Series, we as a team believed that we were going to win collectively, and we always spoke that language. And you know when we got up early, obviously we weren't expected to do that because we 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 were we would just believe that together. And obviously the, the the Chicago comes back and we have we get into Game Seven and going into Game Seven, it's like, oh man, now this can go either way because now it's like everyone's all in, you know, right? All hands on deck. Whoever, whatever the manager needs, he's going to need. And he gave me the the start. Um, the manager had. Uh, the courage and um, you know, know enough to to give me an opportunity to to play this game. And I started this game. I go over three, right? I go over three. My first at for first three bats, three at bats in that game. And then now the game gets on the line in my fourth at bat, and I'm facing Chapman, right? And uh, going into the situation when you're walking up and all the fans are going crazy, you hear all that. It's like, man, this is the moment that I thought about when I was a child. You know, this is the moment, the very moment that, okay, this is where the game is really on the line. This is the where, you, like, how many guys actually get an opportunity to be in this position? You mm know, -hmm. I couldn't set that up, right? That's, you know, obviously that's something that, that was, you know, working just with me. Um, so um, to be in that situation, I'm just thankful for the opportunity, but to come through, like you know, you're 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 talking about dreaming and then coming through on that dream and making it reality. That was amazing feeling. And it's like, you know, it's like one of those feelings where you're like, man, and am I? Is this is this real? I need to pinch myself. Like, is this like because it's like it's unbelievable. It's like magical. Like the the experience because when you when I hit that ball and I see it go, I'm like, oh my god, I just did that. 
but did I do that? <laughs> was that me? <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, I, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm running to first base, and I see our first base coach. Is, he's jumping up. He's excited. You know, I'm really excited because I know that ball is over the wall now. And I was like, oh, man, this is, this is like, man, I could, I could just, like, feel my heart. About to, it, it felt like it was about to explode because of the, all the excitement and the atmosphere of the stadium. It was like, man, this is, this is amazing. This is a, a feeling that it's indescribable, um, that feeling running around, jogging around those bases um, in this magnitude of a game in, in, in the crunch time you know the this is the clutch of clubs and this is uh, in a moment that obviously I'll remember and um, a lot of people will remember when you talk about um, your skill set you know you led the league with 50 stolen bases one year I think I counted I think it was five seasons where you had 40 plus steals that role is becoming less and less visible in Major League Baseball now uh, how do you view that as a guy that was a burner on the base pads and uh, you know, could go from first to third or second to home in a flash. When you look at the, the way that the game is trending towards home runs almost exclusively in terms of offense, how does a guy like you who made his living, you know, making it miserable on fielders with his speed uh, view the game and the way it's going in the direction that it's headed offensively today? Well, I bring that insight of exciting baseball. Well, fans really want to see exciting baseball. And the phone, the you know, the, the, the hitting a home run is exciting, um, and, you know, the strikeouts are exciting. Uh, what's more exciting is, is stealing bases, and, and, and that's a part of the game that, you know, uh, with the position that I've been, I've been putting with uh, Major League Baseball and, and working in the commissioner's office now, um, I'm able to, you know, uh, at least uh, offer my perspective on those kinds of issues. And, you know, I, I, I like, you know, stealing bases. And, and so I can advocate for guys uh, and, and drafting and, and, and all these things that Major League Baseball is a part of. They're a part of the Combine. Combine's coming up in, in June. That's going to be a new thing. Um, a very, very first for Major League Baseball, having a Combine um, and, 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 and that kind of thing. They have the draft league. Um, going on um, where, you know, they're, they're bringing, you know, a lot of former um, Major League Baseball players as managers and, and coaches, you know, so it's, 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 it's a good environment um, where, you know, we could bring back these kinds of things or, or these issues and we can address them in, in these leagues and, and um, obviously Major League Base, Baseball has um, experimental leagues where they can try new things and some of the leagues, they're, they're, they're trying to bring back the stolen bases and how they can do that with some of the rules. And um, with one of them being um, a limited step-off rule, um, which has really significantly increased um, already in the performance of you know, um, stolen bases. So um, it's uh, trying to find a, w a new way to bring it back. And uh, I think that's what uh, Major League Baseball is trying to do. That's um, one thing that's d definitely dear and near to my heart. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect.